Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to Your Neighbor's Cupboard. Uh, today we're working on some cupboard doors that uh, belong to a good friend of ours. These are uh, Bruce's doors. Uh, Bruce has a condominium that's going up for sale on Mass Avenue. And uh, Mike Scanlon uh, with Quality Services has been doing uh, the renovation single-handedly and really turned a place that was uh, quite the rest stop into um, a luxury bathhouse. So basically what we've got here is we've got a cupboard door that's been giving Mike a little bit of problems. The kitchen is almost finished up. It's got a great backsplash in there. But these doors are really not taken to the paint, especially right in this area. So I went over there because I was curious. And uh, we got in there and found some answers. Why don't you let me uh, explain to you exactly what I did to this cupboard door to make it look like the finished product we're going for. The doors themselves are made of a composite. Uh, it's uh, kind, of, kind of like a pressure treated wood. So it's not real wood, so we're kind of dealing with like a mutant, like like an X-Man of a cupboard. Um, he's not of this world, and uh, his intentions are not pure in nature. So, uh, I tried a few different things. Um, the main thing was to get this waxy layer off. This, there's a layer of this um, body butter, almost, that was caked on, and it was filming up and peeling, and really made the thing look kind of ratty all over. So the main thing we used on that was the heat gun. And the heat gun, if you've never used it, um, it gets piping hot. And um, just by putting the heat gun on it and uh, using that uh, in combination with a, a scraper, uh, it, just, it literally was just shoveling off. You can see like all the just the mounds of goo back here. If you just bring the camera over here, all these, all this, that is all wiped up from uh, just this one cabinet, and, and there's a lot more that I saved for myself for later, but um, it's, I mean, it was just coming right off. And then, then we get right down to what we're actually working with. That way that when we actually paint them, uh, we're not going to lose any of the, of the look of the final product um, if it chips or if it gets banged up in the process. Um, really all we're trying to do is get these to turn white. Now there's also some detail work right on the inside. Uh, there's some grooves. Grooving, baby, and uh, we wanted to keep these grooves uh, grooving. So what I used was uh, just a chisel tool and just kind of lightly outline them. I didn't want to go too too hard because when you get into a composite wood, it's going to start to get little little heinous, little um, little crappy. So we want to just give it a little bit of definition, and then the paint is really going to make sure that we uh, have everything looking even level and uh, look like. Um, one love. Now when um, Mike was trying to paint them earlier, uh, the paint really wasn't taking, and uh, I, I'm sorry, I got something up in my mouth. Hang on. Can you hear me? I'll just keep off it off. Um, so Mike was having trouble with the paint sticking to it. I mean, it was literally soaking it in. It was just, you know that guy who does the juice commercials and he talks about how it, uh, like we need like energy and we get it from the earth because of the sun and it behooves us to extract them. That's exactly what this door was doing. And um, that's really unfortunate because Mike's the one who's working on this project and it, it looked pretty bad. So so I came in and uh, the product we're going to use is uh, what I use for all my projects. Um, this is the Montana paint. And this is the best paint you've ever seen. Uh, not only for its range of colors, but um, just the way that it applies and covers, it, you've never seen anything like it. So, if you're going to spray it on something, or huff it, you selfish huffers, be sure you wear a mask. And also, these masks are great because if you take a maximum impact or you take poppers, and you're just going to put it on the scalloping there, and you put it right there, you are in a conch shell of your own, baby boy. <laughs> now, film how you how it. Yeah. I do want you to film how it goes on. So you're gonna see exactly how quickly this thing covers, right?
the way this paint dries incredibly fast. And let's zoom in to see some of the detail here. As you can see, all the white took. Made for a good look.